Page in Royal Oak, some residents are furious over the city's sidewalk installation program. Not only is it costing them thousands of dollars, they say it's taking away the neighborhood charm. 7 Action News reporter Mira David is live now with how they are now trying to fight back. Amira? Well, Carol and Steven, right now I am on Glendale. This is one of the side streets being targeted by that program. In fact, where I'm walking right now, this is exactly where that sidewalk would go. The city says it'll help make the area more walkable, but the residents I spoke to, they say it'll do a lot more to hurt than help. And the total cost for those two new sidewalks, almost $9,000. It's a bill Richard Lannon says he can't afford to pay. Under a new initiative from the city of Royal Oak, residents in certain neighborhoods will be required to foot the costs of implementing new sidewalks down side streets like this one. Unfortunately, what they're trying to do is take an older neighborhood uh, where there's a lot of developed landscape, driveways, garages, traffic patterns, and add sidewalks at the huge expense of the homeowners. Lannon has two homes on this street, one he bought as an investment in retirement, and that means he'll have to pay double the cost. But he says it goes beyond just the money. It's about what will be lost through construction. Unfortunately, the gentleman who owns the house behind me would have to move his fence. Also troubling the trees that may have to get knocked down. We have old growth, beautiful trees that give you the character of the neighborhood. And others living here seem to feel the same. It's such a quiet street. Mothers walk here uh, with their babies and they prefer the street. I don't want my house really framed by this sidewalk and people seem to get along really well without it. But the city is defending the program, saying in a statement to Channel 7 that Royal Oak is a walkable community and it is the city's strong opinion that sidewalks overwhelmingly benefit the community. Sidewalks increase pedestrian activities and keep people safe. And Carolyn, I want to make clear that the city doesn't only want to add sidewalks, they also want to repair existing sidewalks like the one right here. But residents are taking issue with that as well. They say there's not a whole lot of physical damage to repair, yet they still have to foot the bill for that as well. And that's something they're hoping to take up with city council. In Roy Loca, Amira David, 7 Action News. Yeah, surprise, they're passing so much of the cost on to the citizens there. Amira, so what's next at this point? Well, the city council is holding a vote on this Monday evening, next Monday evening, where they're going to vote whether to put this through. And you can bet the people that I talked to here today, plus many more, are planning to be there to push back. I'm Guys, back I'm to you. I'm sure they're going to let their voices be heard. Thank you so much, Amira, for the live report. Steven.